distinguished ladies and a few gentlemen in the room, and you're welcome to Shikan Conference 2022. I look back and I say, it's been four years, but for some reason, it feels like 10 years. Why? It's been four years of hard work. It's been four years of sacrifice. It's been four years of challenges. It's been four years of great impact. It's been four years of a whole lot. God has been faithful. We have done the work and we are still working. She can, she can do anything she wants. She can be anything that she wants. She can lead, she can rest, she can be a mother, she can be a wife, she can be whoever she chooses to be. The question is, who have you chosen to be? But you must do the work to get to where you want to go. You must set the plan. You must sacrificially prepare yourself. You must empower, you must educate yourself. You must determine what your gaps are. She can, she can be the best of herself. That's what we all need to be able to use as a pivot to, be, to get more women involved in this space. If I was a woman today, or even myself as a man, I would hate to be considered for a job purely because of my gender. I would want to think that my intellect counts for something. When you identify those critical skills that you need, that is what gives you credibility. That is what opens the door, and that becomes the enabler to do more. Best example of a she can woman is a woman I've known all my life. She was fearless, a risk taker, limitless, impactful. When she failed, she would get up, she would start again. Not believe that anything was too difficult to do. When people think of fitness, they think of me because I've shown consistency, dedication, determination, and discipline. Very, very important to add layers to who you are. Don't give up on what you want. Don't go and marry somebody that is going to abandon you to do everything yourself. It's a partnership. My husband always, always was there for me. You see, when you decide that you want to do something, the entire atmosphere of the earth begins to respond to you. Training, some people to say, why do you keep training people? Are they not going to leave you? And I say, every time I train and, I, and they leave, they make Nigeria a better country because you have developed somebody better for the nation. And this is one of the greatest barriers to people achieving their dreams, the fear of failure. Without failure, you cannot succeed. Failure is a part of your journey to success. To learn to succeed, you must first learn to fail. And if you run into a wall, if you run into a barrier, Michael Jordan says, don't turn around and give up. Figure out a way to climb it, to navigate it, or to go around it. So it's time for a change. It's time for your transformation. It's time for your new beginning. Once in a while, pat yourself on the back and say, baby girl, you are trying. Once you become successful and big, you drop what you have been doing. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can do more. It does not matter what you have done, you can do more. And hear me, I am not your hero. You are your hero. Not only that, you can do more, 
please go. Welcome to She Can Come Friends 4.0. Nigeria 4.0. A woman will dream of this. I think it's a very needed and laudable program. Where every woman in the world, irrespective of color, tribe, religion, must attend. If you want to fulfill your purpose, you must be emotionally healthy. That it's your first attempt in learning. That's how you define failure. Because no experience is ever without value. This was a really, really nice experience and failure is not a bad thing. It's just part of the success. Because when makeup was not a job, I started it. But it started with one makeup box. And today, that business is not just a business, it's now an entire industry. Oh my God! It's been so insightful. Seriously, I'm living here changed. If you want something, go for it. Because somebody thought to herself, she can. Coming here today has actually opened my eyes that I can be more. I can be everything that I want to be in future to come. Designed to drive a culture and perception of to this woman, you are welcome to She Can Come Friends. 4.0. I'm so excited this morning because it's a conference that will make you know that you are a woman of substance, you are a man of honor, and you can do so much more, especially for the women. Thank you all so much for joining us, Your Excellency. Stay tuned and let's talk. Nigeria 4.0. All right, so see them all, all gathered, tripping in just for them to come and see what you can, I can, what a lady and a man can do in all of this. So, 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 so. Are you bold? Are you beautiful? Can you do it? Yes, I can, because there is indeed no limits. Thank you. Is Michael Ijama Precious Evelyn Chamakaibo? One thing I always go back home with is this it always pushes me to do better than I was when I came here, and that is what I'm going back home with excellence. But she can for since over 2018 now, and then ever since then, I've always wanted to be here. And today, I'm in Lagos. She can, but well, I thought she can was actually a program you just come, you sit down, and then you just listen to people talk about some things that would make you feel like you're a woman but no she can't make me realize that I uh, you're more than just being a ordinary woman oh jesus should we talk about kate and sure god she was marvelous guess what she gave us a one on one talk on how our life was from motion to audition and now she's one of the stars that nigerian ladies look up to god thank god that i was able to know about it is life transforming is mind-blowing this is my third chicken 
since they started and I'm really delighted. One of the major things that stood out for me from everything every speaker said is their experiences and how they fought hard, how they, you know, broke the status quo, how they changed things, they changed the narrative and how they stood out despite all odds. I'd like to say thank you so much to Izumi and Stanley for hosting this amazing conference. This is my first time ever. I feel energized, I feel empowered, I feel motivated, I feel like I can go and, you know, impact my world and it was, I think, everything was amazing every single thing to see all of the speakers in their elements to see them honestly share it was beyond amazing it was phenomenal and thank you so much thank you for the opportunity to be here i would not trade this experience for anything it was the bomb and she can do anything she wants she can be anything that she wants she can lead she can rest she can be a mother she can be a wife she can be whoever she chooses to be. The question is, who have you chosen to be? Once in a while, pat yourself on the back and say, baby girl, you are trying. Once you become successful and big, you drop what you have been doing. Whether you're a man or a woman, you can do more. It does not matter what you have done, you can do more. And hear me, I am not your hero you are your hero best example of a she can woman is a woman i've known all my life she was fearless a risk taker limitless impactful when she failed she would get up she would start again not believe that anything was too difficult to do you see when you decide that you want to do something the entire atmosphere of the earth begins to respond to you. Training, some people used to say, why do you keep training people? Are they not going to leave you? And I say, every time I train and, I, and they leave, they make Nigeria a better country because you have developed somebody better for the nation. When people think of fitness, they think of me because I've shown consistency, dedication, determination, and discipline. Very, very important to add layers to who you are. Don't give up on what you want. Don't go and marry somebody that is going to abandon you to do everything yourself. It's a partnership. My husband always, always was there for me. And this is one of the greatest barriers to people achieving their dreams, the fear of failure. Without failure, you cannot succeed. Failure is a part of your journey to success. That's what we all need to be able to use as a pivot to, be, to get more women involved in this space. If I was a woman today, or even myself as a man, I would hate to be considered for a job purely because of my gender. I would want to think that my intellect counts for something. Not only that you can do more, please go and do more. I always like to avail of myself of opportunities like this, even go as a participant, because you never ever stop learning. Never ever stop learning from another woman, from another person, from someone who has gone through an experience, and experience is the best teacher. We have been advocating for a seat at the table, but that's not enough. I believe we, we make our own table. We become carpenters, build our table and sit there. If they will not shift, Build your table, then they will come to your table. I dare you to become your best self and hang around people who are doing the same or even much better than you. Embrace the successes of other women. Challenge unhealthy demands on fellow women. The ones that you place on yourself are the ones that others try to place on you. Surround yourself with those who will help you rise. One of the thoughts I had in my head is the real question of do I want to be the best or do I want to be my best? I'll leave you guys to think about that, but it's, it, if you really do, it's an interesting question because there can only be one best, but I am the only of my best. We live in a changing world that we all have problems and let's bring whether it's God-given, whether it's self-develops, let's bring our competencies and our abilities together to change the world that we live in. 
your input may be in the workplace, may be in the family, may be just in social relationships that you maintain. But there's a role for you to play. And we've got to, in line with our theme, we've got to be encouraging one another to do significantly more every time. So together we face the challenges. Together we must start learning from resolving challenges of today towards dealing with challenges that we predict will come tomorrow. Just remember, first identifying your destination gives you the opportunity to sit back and plot the route of how to get to your destination. So she can be who you choose to be. You can be who you have chosen to be. But you must do the work to get to where you want to go. You must set the plan. You must sacrificially prepare yourself. You must empower, you must educate yourself. You must determine what your gaps are. Do a gaps analysis. This is where I am now. This is where I want to be. And because I can, what do I need to be able to get there? And if you set your goal, if you have a sense of where you want to go, you might not fully comprehend it, building some flexibility into what it is that you know you can do. You start a step at a time. The journey of a thousand years, they say, starts always with the first step.